Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So today I'll show you how you guys can make a cool, simple 2D image to a uh, 3-dimensional image in the really easiest way by using some cool displacement process. So without wasting any time, as I always say, let's get started. So first of all, as you guys can see, this is my the base image where I will create the most interesting depth, but this time not using any kind of projection process, but this time I will use the cool displacement map. Okay, so first of all, what you have to do, this is the image as I imported and then I just, just change my settings over there. You guys can press S and then change your settings like this. Now this is a full HD, I'm just changing this settings to here like 14007 because this is the ruined resolution of this image. Okay, cool. The basic thing is right now done. Okay, so now what I have to do, I'm just taking a rotor node by pressing O on my keyboard. This is a rotor node and then by pressing tab, let's take a constant. So constant. Okay, now connect it. Now what I have to do, double click on my constant and then just uh, make it view. Now it's completely black. Okay, so uh, just right click, set key, and see this is a one, and then go to the last frame and then make it white. So now what happened? It's already animated right now. As you guys can see, it's 83, darker, darker, and completely black. So the first frame is black and the last frame is white. So our basic animation is right now done. So now connect it to him and double click on your roto node. Now what I have to do, I have to create some cool depth by using this photo and using this roto node. So it's the very easiest way and it's a little bit tricky. So uh, don't worry. So I'm just making it from here. Okay. So just click here and then click here and just slightly curve here and then just click here. So now see this area is very sharp. So I'm just doing nothing. And now see this is a one, two and the third one. So from here like one two and that this is the third one i think this one yes this one is correct so just click here and then just move it like this from here and then click here and drag it a little bit like this then here and then click here as well okay then just merge this and then what you have to do just fix these areas as well and just make it a little more precise because our depth mat will exactly create by using this shape. So if you don't make your shapes properly, your output will not come properly. Even when you make that depth by, uh, sorry, even when you use that depth for your uh, like three dimensional space, it will not give you the proper output. It, it will give, but it will not give you the proper output. Okay, so our basic shape is right now done. So we are making it like 100 number frame. So just what we have to do, select this base here and just make it like this. And now we'll uh, go into like 50 number frame. Over here, I'll make uh, one more keyframe. Like I'm just make it a little change like up and down. So I have one dummy frame here, right? You can make it in this uh, keyframe as well. Then go to the last frame, see? And then just simply control press and just, sorry, the shift press and just make it bigger like this. Cool. Yes, like this, fine. Now see, this is going a little up, so make it a little down, like this. So now what I have, it's already animating, see? Cool, right? Yeah, I know it's very cool. So go to the last frame and make sure it should go out of this frame. So by pressing shift, make it go out of this frame. Okay, now it's really looking good, okay? Now go to the last frame, uh, sorry, the first frame, and simply just by pressing shift, make it like this and then just adjust it in this perspective like this okay so this is the most trickiest part ever i have done in my entire life because if if this thing is not uh, it's not made properly the entire output will never come properly okay so now i will make one more like here so when you play this see it's coming like this now in this area like 25 number frame i'll just make it a little more precise so i think it's already precise yes it's precise but little more go up and like this cool it's fine so now just play it see now it's coming with this flow okay like, like exactly uh, what you did like it's a flow okay cool fine now what i have to do when you connect this you can see double click here now this is our base here okay i'm just pressing q so that i can't see this see you can't see this 
Now what I have to do by pressing this, you just have to invert this option. So press this, so now it's inverted. Now take this and by pressing tab, take a free mult. Okay, so now it's came. Okay, so now what I have to do when you play this, see, this is the thing. Okay, so by using pre mult, we, we just cut this area as you guys can see and just make sure that both outputs are exactly proper. Okay, so see, it's exactly coming proper. Now see, this is the main basic depth, okay? So by using this uh, shape, we can create the depth. So how we can create the depth? Now connect this pre mult like this, then we'll use something little bit trickier. By pressing tab, we'll take a time echo, okay? Now connect it to here and double click and make sure go to the first frame and then just frame at look at it make 100, okay? So now when you play this, see, the, our depth map is creating slowly and slowly and slowly like this now go to the last frame this is our main depth map is right now created completely now if you want you can fill it out like 50 so now the depth map will create like this and make it like 20 so it's like this like if you get 100 like this it will create like this is a fading thing but we want like 10 is fine because our depth map then look like or make it 5 5 is enough okay now our depth map is completely done. Done. Now see guys, this is a completely animated depth map. When you go to the back frame, the depth map is changing, right? So what I have to do, I have to fix this. How you can fix this, you have to add a frame hold. So by pressing tab, take a frame hold and connect it to the end of this. And then start frame, sorry, for first frame is like 100. So now it's completely a JPEG. Whenever you move the frame, will nothing happen. Okay, so the main thing is done and in fact the 70% thing is right now done. So let's create this photo by using this depth map, something cool 3D. Now press tab on your keyboard and then take a displace geo like this and then take a card and just connect this card to this. Now it's completely visible from here, sorry. And you guys can see this image is completely visible in this card and then make this card rows and columns like what you guys say like 200 by 200 now it's a big amount of this because i'll tell you the reason in details little little bit later okay so now i want to have to choose this step press in tab on your keyboard take a scan line renderer because as you guys all know in my previous tutorial i was explaining this clearly that without scan line renderer you can't render any kind of 3d scene in a 2d output so we need the scan line renderer very much important thing Okay, so then just make a camera, but before doing any kind of camera, just connect this camera to like this, uh, sorry, the card, and then press a scene, like scene, and then connect the scene to it like this, now leave it like this, okay, then just connect like card to this, and then make it the displays, first connect like one, so now you can see the image is clearly visible right now. But when you connect this displace option to this frame hold, what happens, see guys, something is changed, like this thing is a little bit changing, okay. So why this is changing, the reason behind of this is for this depth map, okay. So now created more depth, so just double click on this displace geo and make the scale a little more bigger, like this. So when you like make it like 10, so it's, see, it's too big. So I think it's obviously it's very big. So make it like one and now it's fine. It's completely looks fine. Now the depth is created perfectly. Look, let's make it like, uh, what do you guys say, two? Yes, two, it's pretty enough, good. Okay, so now as you guys can see, when you go inside of this, let's of this grid option. And now when you, if you want, you can go really inside of this box, even See, it feel like it's actually in three-dimensional space. See, but guys, completely it's an image. I hope guys, this is a really exciting one you have ever seen. By using only a depth map, you can create an image, a proper three-dimensional space. In fact, a 3D object. Okay, so now what I have to do, you can place a camera over here. Okay, so just connect it to here. And then like, this is a three dimensional scene. So you can connect it to here like this for by a scene and then press it like the tab and the camera and the connect the camera to here and double click on this camera. Now just turn on the grid and then just drag it to here. And I'm just pressing X because X is for this view and then just make this lines okay so now i'm taking this lines to just aligning these two lines and just make it a little go up and just go just inside 
like this now if rec everything is under this line okay now press again tab and then you can see this is the thing inside of this camera and then go to the 3d view and you can see this is the thing and from here just click this button because the camera option is enabled and from here take this camera now this is the camera option as you guys can see now what happened just double click on this card double click on this geo then scene okay now when you play this shot like this now pressing camera and then just go to the C depth now see you can feel you just go inside of this image cool right guys now what you can do by using this you can do lots of things okay you can use so many things in, you can put any things like a green skin characters and all everything I'll just show one simple thing that how you can add anything inside of this three dimension space okay so let's take a constant again now constant and then just make it like white color and then over there take a roto node and then simply make a just a circle like this just go to the here and sorry and then just make a circle like this now it's a circle and then take a pre multiply and like this now it's a circle and it's complete completely pre multiplied then over there just take a card and just connect this card to here now see it's completely in three dimension space and just what you have to do you just have to connect this card to the scene option okay so right now this card is, is in this scene okay cool now connect to this this option and now the both scenes are exactly on the same space like this now this is our white option now select this card and just drag it to the Z depth now you can see this card is in inside of this three, one, three dimensional space you can just scale it down i'm just making it scale it down like this and just see like this and if you wish you can like glow or grade something kind of look let's delete this grade take a glow just like that and then connect it to under this pre multiply and now see this is exactly glowing like a some kind of weird thing I'm, I know I'm doing it some kind of weird thing but you can wish whatever you can want now when you go to this camera button like camera camera one now double click on your camera just turn off this grid option and when you just go to the Z depth you can see this light is already floating like it's already in Z depth when you rotate your camera and like this and like this see it's feel like it's, it, it's not feel like it's exactly in the three dimensional space in fact guys whatever you can put inside of this three dimensional space like character like green skin thing anything you can put inside of this three dimensional space and even you can animate this so let's animate a little bit like go to the first frame this camera right click set key go to the last frame and then just move it a little in like this and slightly like this just just i'm just doing it roughly you guys can do it more precise take your time take your own time and just make yourself more creative okay then go like this the first frame okay cool now when you go to uh, like uh by pressing tab on your two dimensional space and just simply play it you can see your two dimensional image right now in converted into a two dimensional image in a really simple way i think this is the most shortest node i have ever made what are you guys are thinking just do comments in my below comment section i hope guys this video is absolutely rocking video ever and if yes then don't forget to hit that bell button and the most exciting sweet sexiest subscribe button and i will see you in my next video till then have fun stay healthy bye bye and keep watching vfx world